Hey guys, uh, so I'm working on trying to get everybody I know to understand the patterns of notes up and down the neck of the guitar. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's I've got some funny opinions about that, but I'll try not to interfere with our lesson here. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, let's do the G notes. Oh, let's plug in the guitar, too. Holy smokies. What kind of a deal is that? So, <laughs> the G notes. Let's do, uh, I'm just going to show off for a second. How about... Wow. I love that kind of... Uh, long pattern. That's a, that's a, a kind of a stretching challenge. See if you can find those, like three... 8, 12, 17, 22. That's one way to do it. Or you could start with the G string. And then maybe play 12 fret. That works. Or uh, take it from the, the bass and uh, play open G and first string, third fret which you'll find those in your G chord. And uh, let's do this, this octave of a three and a five. We've covered most of them. There's two more, uh, which this is another fun pattern. Well, it gives me an idea, but here's 10 and 15 on the A and uh, E string. So, yeah, work on your stretch a little bit. But check out how these are uh, identical pitch. Oops, missed. And uh, I guess we left out on the first string there's a lot of G notes on the guitar. First string, 15th fret, and second string looks like a 20. Two of those really high ones. Those don't sound perfectly in tune. So, you can do it any way you want, you know, just, uh, you can do little groups, like the caged thing. It's a G shape, like a G chord. Find the G notes in the, the classic G chord or the G bar chord will overlap. These two overlaps with this. And we add this one here. That's an E shape. And then we could do, what's next? Uh, a D shape here. Five and eight. And then your C shape here. Overlaps with the eight and ten here on the A string. Then um, the A shape here at the uh, 10th fret, 10 and 12, and then it starts over. There's the G shape. Always fun to play that one. Just an octave, and then this, an octave higher. Getting a little tight up there. And then the D shape, that's 17 and 20. And then we'd have one more C shape here. It's getting a little small to make a chord, but you can do the, the notes. And remember they all overlap. All these patterns overlap.
That's a, a tidy way, the caged system. Not bad, don't hurt nothing. Yeah. My, this thing plays nice. So yeah, learn all your G notes. So lately we've done E, A, D, and G. Notice it. Notice the strings. E, A, D, G. That's a nice way to organize your guitar. You know, like let's learn everything you can about the key of E. Everything. Move it over to key of A. Move it over to D. Next is G. That's a circle of fourths. Yeah. Sounds good too. All right, work on your G notes. Make sure you're just getting them down hardcore. Uh, and I'll save my commentary for another video about, <laughs> I don't know. We'll talk about it. Thanks a lot.